Hello, my name is Brianna. Today is day 10 and welcome to 21 days of prayer and fasting. Today we're going to be praying for singles and young adults and I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 6 uh, verse 33. Uh, but seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. In a season of patiently waiting or contentment, singles and young adults may be asking God, what's next? Or how does one remain content? This verse is sandwiched right between Jesus' important teachings of Sermon on the Mount and finishing with, do not worry about tomorrow. The Sermon on the Mount doesn't give us promises of happiness, fun, earthly pleasure, or an increase of treasures, but instead something greater, a blessing from God, which promises we can experience hope and joy. But we need to follow Jesus. Jesus gives us very important teachings through Matthew 5 and 6, and then tells us not to worry about our provisions. God is in control of all our needs, and he promises that we will be taken care of. But we need to seek him and pursue him. In this season of seeking, listening, and patience, we can build our relationship with God, a true example of love, before we build our relationship with others. A beautiful song reminds me of this very thing. I will build my life upon your love. It is a firm foundation. I will put my trust in you alone, and I will not be shaken. I once heard this idea of building relationships similar to building a castle, a castle that is strong, long-lasting, beautiful, a fortress. I picture two castles, one built on earthly treasures, a foundation, wobbly, made up of mismatched pieces, ill-fitting blocks, all different sizes and shapes. This foundation is made up of insignificant possessions we value of people and wealth. This castle appears to be falling apart and will not withstand the test of time. Contrast that with a castle built, carefully planned, chosen, and pieced together, built on a foundation of truth, love, mercy, grace, forgiveness, and salvation. A strong foundation on solid ground built to withstand. This is the strong relationship that we can have with our Lord and Savior but we have to start with seeking him first. As we keep God and our relationship with him in the center of our life, we will begin to fill our thoughts with his desires to serve and obey him in everything. The things that were once of great importance and priority, people, objects, goals, and other earthly desires, they no longer compete if we actively choose to put God first in every area. As I close out, I just wanna ask, how can we be compassionate and encouraging to the single people around us? I encourage us to pray that all singles and young adults may find hope in our Lord and Savior and his promise and that they may feel and experience love. I pray that they may know what it is to be adopted into the family of God. I pray that each single and young adult is prepared to put God first and have him as the foundation in their relationships. And finally, I pray for them to bloom where God has planted them in this season of their life. As we close out today, join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for today and this opportunity to pray for those single and the young adults. I thank you for loving all of us, for seeing us as we are, for caring about each of us and including us in your kingdom work, no matter what our marital status is. I thank you for everything you have given us, for creating us unique, and for the special gift of singleness. I pray that you would help each of your children that are unmarried to use this season for your glory, making the most of all opportunities to seek you first, build relationship, and ultimately serve you with their whole heart. I pray that you would lead us and guide us and fill us with your Holy Spirit and continue to hold us in your mighty arms. In your precious and holy name, Jesus, amen.